Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashmita, and I hope you all are doing well. And right now, I will be reacting to a trailer. Now, this is a series that I'm going to start. This is called The Rise of Bangtan, and uh, I have seen so many comments on and off throughout, you know, several months uh, that I should be watching this series. This is a fan-made uh, series. It's like a documentary format, is what I have been told. Like it's it's. It's about BTS in a very very detailed manner. So it's like a documentary series about BTS made by an army, and uh, the channel name is of course also called the Rise of Bangtan Official. Uh, I'm gonna link the channel in my description box. And uh, uh, before because there are a lot of and uh, when I'm seeing like I'm on the channel page, and if you if I'm seeing at the videos, they're almost like you know it starts with like a 15 16 minute video, but it also goes up to like. Uh, one one episode being 30 minutes like half an hour long as well so there are many chapters like the latest one that i'm seeing is that i think there are about 15 chapters right now yeah so so there are a lot of basically a lot of episodes already out and the latest one which uh, was released was the 15th chapter which i'm guessing is the 15th episode so i'm going to start with the trailer right now i'm not going to starting um, i'm not going to start with the episode i want to check out the trailer first and then i'll start this series uh, so yes i have been highly highly recommended this and of course uh, because this is made from the perspective of army uh, i'm more interested i'm even more interested so yes let's look at this trailer uh rise of bangtan and then i will start watching the series like episode wise one by one all right here we go i used to look up at the night sky and wonder and I used to dream that I was a superhero who could save the world. Oh. So this, this came this year only. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, let me to dream that I was a superhero who could save the world. So this came this year only. 그때 오는 그런 편견과 억압을 막아내고 그들을 대변해서 저희 음악과 가치를 지켜내겠다는 그런 의미를 담겨 있고요. 팝 아이돌이라고 이야기를 하지만 어떤 사람들은 그냥 기획 형 아이돌 아이돌 형으로 우리나라에서는 이제 음악적인 것도 아니라 산업적으로도 이렇게 굉장히 복합적인 분명이잖아요. 힙합과 어떻게 뭐 어울릴 수 있냐. 아니 뭐 1등 그런 거 들어서 일단 앨범 자체는 좋아. 나 이제 이거. 앨범에서 만족할 수 없다. 1등 해야 된다 이제. 맞아요. 넥스트 레벨로 이사 가고 싶다. 정말 산 넘어 산이라는 말이 딱 맞는 게또더큰 세상을 보니까 더큰 공간. 내가 왜이 일에 이렇게 목숨 걸고 하고 있는지. 이것들이 한 순간에 정말 다 사라져 버린다고 생각을 한다면. Oh, I can't wait to start this. 정말로 sun. 무섭지 않을까요? So this is. So this is going to be like oh I'm gonna see so many footages that I've never seen like behind the scenes and stuff because I don't watch all the documentaries I know there are so many BTS documentaries but this would be like compiled from Army's oh okay. 많은 BTS 우리를 될수록 그림자도 많아지는. It's a boy band from Korea. They're trying to do something. Sound like a sound. Let's like role models. They've got choreographed dance moves. <laughs> probably wondering how this lesbian girl group could possibly have so many fans in the United States. How did this become a thing in Western culture? It's like <laughs> a little twink gay fetish. Oh my God. Please, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna be pissed off also, I think, watching the series. Okay. Icon, 새로운 문화 아이콘은 저희 때부터 시작을 할것 같아요. 증명하겠습니다. 저 가요계를 파괴하겠습니다. 파괴! The phenomenally popular boy band BTS. 당연이라는 말이 참 무섭다. 특히 두려움이 되게 큰것 같아요, 제 자신은. Do you feel pressure that you're representing your entire country? People feel something when you say. I'm in I'm in the world. 아프지만 아프지 않고 슬프지만 슬프지 않고 두렵지만 두렵지 않을 겁니다. 방탄소년단은요. They're surpassing their K-pop genre tag. Oh, 
scammers. Oh. Firstly, whoever you are, army. I mean, the rise of Bangtan official. Whoever you are, who has made this. the trailer cut? Okay, why I wanted to react to the trailer because. uh when i went to the page i saw that the episodes are pretty long like there are 15 episodes uh chapters now i thought that okay what if i don't like it what if i don't like it uh because you know this is this going to be like more like a compilation this is well, this the, the trailer itself just shows how well this would have been edited by the army and this will have footages that i've never seen before and this will actually show me their journey in a detailed manner i already like cried a little like i already like my tears were almost there almost there looking at this trailer like when when that line came like people feel something when you sing and that is exactly that's what i feel that's exactly what was running in my mind that when you guys when they sing they they we i feel something i feel so connected to the music I feel that you know at least at, at least you would find one song in BTS that is made for you. I feel that. I feel that. Do let me know, Armies. What is that one song which you think is made for you? Like you were like, "Ye to mera gana hai." Like this is like BTS literally talking to me. Ha! Huh? I definitely want to know in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, and this came in 2021. So this is like. Oh, oh! I cannot wait to react to the series. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Army. See, this is see you help me out so much. I cannot wait. I uh, the trailer looked amazing. The trailer looked amazing. I think I'm gonna go through a sea of emotions. That's what the trailer gave me. I think I'm gonna go through a sea of emotions. I'm gonna see never before seen footage. At least for me, I'm gonna literally see what they faced because I know what they faced, but I have not seen it. I know it, but I've not seen it. So I'm gonna see it, and how they have come out on the other side, like the hatred that they faced. I'm actually gonna witness the hatred. I, you know, I have always I refrain myself from looking into too much into their past footage where they were sort of criticized or made fun of because I knew it was gonna make me sad, and I feel that you know this this series is going to have that. and it is going to make me sad and i mean and i i okay but though i am feeling very happy just to start this because they have like they have literally like very recently just a couple of days back received uh, their diplomatic passports from the president of uh, their country and they're going to go to the un just like after like 20th 20th is the date that they are going to be there in uh, us so basically i mean they are they are they were from musicians from idols it says from idols to artists this i feel right now at this point they have surpassed being artists they are literally icons they are literally like youth icons I mean, they are literally an inspiration. For, I mean, just see the impact music can have. They have proved the phrase that music does not need language. And uh, those clips, I don't know who were saying like this, like a lesbian group and this and that, uh, which is so xenophobic. And I mean, even even in, uh, India is no less. so many people who don't even know about bts just call them as gays as as if being called gay is an insult they don't know that like that's how close minded people are uh i hope i hope it changes in the future but the impact that they've already have it's it's going to be remembered for generations to come and uh, yeah oh wow just just seeing the trailer gave me gave me chills You know, way to react to the series, guys. Thank you, Army. Army, I love you. I purple you. You always, you always point me to the right videos. I know you always point me to the right videos. I, I might not get to them right away, but I will. I, I do get to them eventually. So yes, that was the reaction to the trailer 
for Rise of Bangtan. Um, I'll be starting with episode one very, very soon. Very, very soon. So yes, that was it, guys. That was my reaction for this trailer. Uh, I'm gonna like. I don't know how frequently I'll post the series because then if I start a series and then another, the kind of content BTS puts out. I know BTS X Cold Play is happening. I know, I know. But I did check the preview. You know I'm not gonna check it out. You know I'm not gonna check it out. I refrain myself. And then there are a couple of run BTS episodes that I know you guys want me to react to. So I have to prioritize. I have to prioritize. And there's so many other group comebacks happening. September is a is gonna be a busy month. I already didn't shoot for half of September. So the other half I have to compress everything. So yeah, it's it's gonna be the next 15 days are gonna be extremely busy for me for both my channels. I feel so yes, I don't wanna overwork myself, but yes, I definitely want to catch up on everything. So yeah, that was it guys. Uh sharing your thoughts if you have watched this series. Uh what do you feel? Uh is it good? Is it bad? I want to know yeah definitely know your feedback. In the soup is coming so I have to watch the first uh you know uh the first uh, season also i know you guys wanted me to react to it but it's paid content it'll automatically get blocked so i won't be able to react to it that's why i'm gonna watch it on my own uh obviously and in the soup 2 is obviously going to be paid content which of course i will pay for so yeah so yeah that was it guys i'll sign off now and i will see you soon on my next video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you love k-pop and do follow me on my instagram the link is in the description i'll see you now bye bye